If you watch video on YouTube, then there is 99% possibility you have seen Ali Abdul's video. And there, he used a lot of paper folding effect for his video and shorts. Today, we're going to learn how you can make this kind of paper folding effect in Adobe Premiere Pro and with the help of Adobe After Effects. Because just by using Adobe Premiere Pro, making these effects is a little bit tough. So we're going to take help from After Effects so that it can make our job much easier. Here I have made a new project and there we'll just continue working. First you need to make a new sequence. So when you are making narrative type of video, then you might need to work with voiceover and different assets, right? So using Premiere Pro for the timeline purpose and using After Effects for a special effect, that will be great. So here I'll just select HD 1080p and there I'll select 1080p 24 FPS video. You can just name it whatever you want. I'll just keep it sequence name and then i'll just import the asset that we're going to use for this video purpose i'll put a link in the description below of this exact same file so that you can download and practice along with me i'll just click and drag these three files here on our program panel here is a background if i just play it back you can see there is a animated grid background and grid backgrounds are very popular nowadays so let's use that today and there you'll see a paper folding green screen effect you can make this kind of effect by yourself when you fold a paper and then capture image then you can stitch those images to make a stop motion video so this is a stop motion animation and there the background is totally blue so that we can key it out and the inside of the paper is green right so when you are making this animation by yourself make sure the background is separate color and the inside of the paper is separate color so that we can key out that section easily right and the next one is a photo of mine you can use any photo any png or any video for that purpose but i'm just using a png image of mine uh, to demonstrate this process let's bring this background first here on our timeline i'll just click keep existing settings and then i'll just zoom into our timeline a little bit more here we don't need the audio just press alt or option on your keyboard and then select the audio you can press delete on your keyboard then we'll import the png image of mine and then the next will be paper folding animation and also we are going to delete that audio part i will not use this portion so i will just delete that section so this is the basic setup we don't need to bring the grid animation on after effect we'll just select these two top layers and then right click then click nest to make a compound video or nested sequence just click ok so here is our nested video now we need to select the nested clip and then right click click replace with after effects composition before clicking on that section make sure you have installed adobe after effects otherwise that section will be grayed out in order to use after effects with adobe premiere pro as a dynamic link you need to install after effects first so it will send the clip to adobe after effects and from there we'll continue working adobe after effects has fired up and let's wait for a second so here after opening adobe after effects it will ask for a name so just give it a name maybe paper fold and select a folder where you have want to save that file right so i'll just select paper effect then click save it will open that project here in adobe after effects if i just click on nested sequence then you see here our paper effect and this is our image right so first we need to adjust the position of the folding paper effect right and before doing that we need to attach this paper effect with our image as a track mat right so how you can do that make sure you have enabled mode section here and then you'll see track mat section so click here on the speak whip and then just click and drag this on your image it will attach that paper effect with your image now you need to scale the paper effect right so we want to align the green section with our image how you can do that select the paper cut e effect and then press s on your keyboard to reveal the scale then you can just scale it up then press p on your keyboard to reveal the position then you can just adjust it this way so here is the paper fold animation with full green on our subject now let's key out this blue section first in order to key out the blue section you need to select the paper cut effect and then go to window and make sure effects and preset is enabled and there you'll see this panel search for 
key light you will see key light 1.2 just click and drag this on top of your paper cut effect and then click here on this eyedropper and select the blue color you see the blue color will be eliminated from this scene right so if i just play it back only the green section is visible now we need to duplicate this image once just press ctrl and d to duplicate it and click and drag it on top of your paper fold animation and then you can just enable it if you want for now and then select this section and this section right click and pre-compose to make a compound clip you can give it a name i'll just keep it pre-compose one then click ok now you have to again duplicate this section press ctrl d to duplicate it and click and drag it here before removing this green section we need to attach the track mat with this pre-compose right so click and drag from this image track mac pick wave to your pre-compose one and then select the top one click and drag this key light effect on top of your pre-compose one which is copied just now and there you will see a eyedropper again click and then remove this green section you will see our image have been revealed right so if i just play it back now the revealing effect has been completed now you have to press ctrl s to save it also you can make a wiggle animation if you want to make a wiggle animation again you need to select this all clips and then right click pre-compose and then you can give it a name and if you want you can make it a little bit small or bigger if you want i'll just keep it as it is and then click here on this arrow reveal the transform and here press alt or option on your keyboard and then click on your position section it will reveal expression for this position section right just write wiggle w i double g you'll see this wiggle and there you need to press enter to select it and here you need to write two parameters one is time and other one is frequency so if i just write here maybe five and then i'll just press comma and then i'll just make it maybe 20. and then if i play it back you'll see the image will wiggle a little bit right so that is what we wanted if you want to change the frequency or decrease the wiggle you can just keep it maybe 10. so if i play it back let's wiggle it right now you can just press ctrl s to save it get back to adobe premiere pro and here you'll see it has already updated this section right if i play it back so that's it that is how you can make paper folding animation in adobe premiere pro with the help of adobe after effects that is all for today i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up if you're new to this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro or video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome videos just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then Goodbye.